Uh, so let's get right to the first one. The first question says this. How do, you, uh, how do I reconcile the viewpoint of infer, infralapsinarianism with scriptures like Ephesians 1.4 and Proverbs 16.4 without assuming that all was decreed before the fall, such as supralapsarianism? Okay, those are big words. And so let's talk about you know, what infra or infralapsinarianism means. Well, the word infra means after lapsinarianism, the fall. So literally, infralapsinarianism means after the fall. Well, you can guess that supralapsinarianism means before the fall. And both of these things deal with predestination and God's election. For example, if you believe in supralapsinarianism, you, and I know that's a mouthful, but someone that believes in supralapsinarianism believes that God elected some to salvation and, uh, uh, and decreed others for hell uh, before creation ever was, or even before the fall. So that's the idea of God's elect versus God's reprobate. God created you to be elect, or God created you to be a reprobate. So that's the idea of double predestination. And those who hold the double predestination believes that God elected some for salvation and others for damnation before the fall in Adam. Well, infralapsinarianism says, no, God elected and God predestined after the fall in Adam. And so the idea, one says, well, damnation is the result of God's eternal decree, whereas others would say, no, damnation is the result of the fall. Of course, God decreed the fall, but, but the result of damnation happened after the fall, when Adam and Eve sinned and the whole world fell, sinned. So the question we're going to answer today is, did God elect His chosen before the fall, or did God elect His chosen in light of the fall? In light of the fall. Not necessarily after the fall, but in light of the fall. Is the result of damnation, is the result of damnation God's decree? Did God decree and create people to be damned forever? Or is damnation the result of the fall? So let's, let's deal with these two questions today. Uh, and so this person says, How can I believe in infralapsinarianism that, God, that damnation is the result of Adam's fall when there's passages such as Ephesians 1.4? And Ephesians 1.4 says this, Even as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before Him in love. So the passage says that God chose us in Him before the foundation of the world. And so that would appear to say that God chose before the fall. Okay? And then this person also asked about Proverbs, uh, oh, what was it? Proverbs 16.4, which says, The Lord has made everything for its purpose, even the wicked for the day of trouble. So let's talk about this. And I think, this, I think there's some confusion that we need to clear up. Infralapsinarianism does not teach that God chose us after the fall. I, I probably misspoke on that earlier. If I did, please forgive me. But what an infralapsinarianist believes is that God chose us before the foundation of the world, but in light of the fall. Okay? God decreed the fall. And then he also decreed that as a result of the fall, that he would elect some, and then others would be damned. And they're damned not because God decrees them to damnation, but because of the fallen Adam. Okay, so an uh, infralapsinarianist believes that God chose before the foundation of the world, but in light of the fall, which was a part of God's eternal decree. The fall was. Now, a supralapsinarianism, those who believe in and maybe we should just say those who believe in single predestination versus those who believe in double predestination. Infralapsinarianism, single predestination. Supralapsinarianism, double predestination. 
So a supper lapsinarianist would say that God decreed some for salvation and others for damnation uh, just as the result of God's sovereign decree. Has nothing to do with the fall. Nothing, to ha nothing happened in light of the fall. Simply God chose and created some for salvation and created others for damnation. So those who believe in double predestination would say that our salvation is because of predestination and our damn and damnation is because of predestination because you have a, you have the elect on one hand and you have the reprobate. Now who are the reprobates? Those who were created and destined for damnation before uh, before creation. It's a result of God's eternal decree. Now let me tell you where I'm at on this issue. Personally, I do not hold to supper lapsinarianism. I do not hold to double predestination. But I do hold to infralapsinarianism, single predestination. And I do believe that God chose His elect in Him before the foundation of the world. And I also believe those who are eternally damned are damned not as a result of God's predestination, but as a result of the fall in Adam. And here's why I believe that. Romans, Romans chapter, um, well, let me get it here. Yeah, Romans chapter 4. Uh, well, let me just read here uh, in ver verse 17. So Romans 4 verse 17 says this. For if because of one man's trespass, death reigned through that one man, much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign through life in one man? Therefore, as one trespass led to condemnation for all men. Notice the Word of God says we're condemned in Adam. We're condemned in Adam, the Bible says. So one act of righteousness leads to justi justification and life for all men. So here's what I believe. That before the world was created, God eternally decreed creation, but He also decreed the fall. And in His eternal decree, in light of the fall, He said, even though the, wor the whole world is going to be damned because of Adam's sin, I'm going to save a people for myself. That's predestination and election. And the rest will be condemned. Now, why are they condemned according, according to Romans 4? They're not condemned because God predestined them to damnation before the foundation of the world. They're condemned because of Adam's sin. Adam's fall. Not as a result of God creating reprobates for the only, for the only purpose to damn them to hell. I don't believe that. Okay? And clearly the Bible teaches that Romans 17 says we're all condemned and verse 18 that we're all condemned in Adam. That's very clear. So the blame for damnation is on Adam. Okay? But God in His sovereignty chose for Himself a people to redeem out of condemnation. Now when did God determine to do this? Before the foundation of the world. So God did not choose after the fall. God chose in light of the fall. And I think that may be your issue, is you're thinking that God chose after the fall. But the reality is, is that God chose us in Him before the foundation of the world in light of the fall. Okay, so thank you for your question today. Um, it, was, it was a joy to die, well, to, uh, to deal with it. I was going to say dialogue, but we really didn't dialogue. But it was a joy to deal with that passage.